Okay, so today um, we're going to talk about strings, cell arrays, um, length and size functions, and then in the end I'll tell you how you can connect two strings and make it into one string, or you can put them, you can connect them vertically or horizontally. Um, so first thing we have strings. So what are strings? How do you how do you make um, something into a string, or how do you how do you know if something's a string? So every time you see something inside these single quotes right here, like this, um, this is a string. Um, so here we have a string containing the um, word chocolate, and then there's a space right here. So A is assigned um, this string chocolate um, that contains the characters chocolate and then, then a space. Um, then same here, we have B is, assi is assigned cake. And then here we have nums is assigned one two three four five six. Notice how even though these are numbers, um, it's a string because we put um, them inside um, single quotes right here. So if you put anything inside single quotes, they become a string, um, even if they're numbers like this, um, like one two three four five six or anything else. So strings basically belong to a class called char which is short for character um, you don't really need to know I mean it, it's good to know it but it's it's not something you have to know um, so a function that's often associated with um, with strings is the function length um, oftentimes you will want to know length of a string or how long a string is and that's when you use the length function it's it's really simple to use it it's um just saying length and then you put in a variable name and it will tell you how long the string um, how long the string is so if I put a uh, length a let's see before before we um, run it uh, what let's see what we should get we should get one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten because this space still counts because it's it's a string so spaces do count as a character so if I run this I should get ten um, similarly if I do length B I should get four because cake is a four letter word so if I hit enter now I should get um, four let's see if we do get four okay so we get four now if I what do you think I'll get if I um, do length length nums um, I should get six because now remember this ca counts as this counts as a single character one two three four five six so six characters so this should give me a six and it does um, another way of looking knowing if something's a string is if it's in, if it's in purple I think strings are the only things that are purple in my lab um, I could be wrong, I'm not definite, but I think they are the only things that are in purple. So every time you see something something that's purple, you know it's a string. Um, okay, so next we're going to talk about cell arrays. Um, we, um, you know how matrices hold numbers, cell arrays basically hold strings. Um, it's as simple as that. So when you have, you can say here we have um, strings A and B and inside uh, a cell array when you when you're writing when you're making a cell array you have to put instead of putting regular brackets like like you would do for matrices for matrices you would put regular brackets around it um, here you have to for for cell arrays the way you write them is you have a variable name on the left hand side so you would have um, you would have variable name variable name on the left hand side is equal to um, curly braces uh, curly brackets um, variable a variable one two three four five how many variables you have and then the last variable um, and then curly bra um, brackets again um, so that's the format. So here we see that we have C is equal to um, A comma B. 
so that means it says okay take make a cell array and put these two strings inside it um, we might as well just put um, nums in it too for now I'll put nums here um, okay so now we have a cell array C that contains all these strings and if I, I if I run it and hit type in C here you'll see so C contains all these three, three strings um, so it's cell arrays are basically um, matrices for strings and um, things of that sort so a function we associate oftentimes with um, cell array or, or matrix or cell arrays or matrices is the size function so the size function will tell us how big or or, or the size of the matrix base matrix or cell array um, so here we see if we write size C we're asking um, Alab what is the size of this um, cell array C so we see that it's 1 by 3 so that's why it should give us 1 by 3 um, so the answer should be 1 by 3 so it gives you 1 so the number of the format for this is the number of rows goes here and then the number of columns after that so we see that there's one row one row and then three columns one two and three columns so that's also a good function to know um, I don't it's some I don't know if you'll use it a lot um, I've seen it on my recitations before um, if I remember correctly once or twice on maybe maybe once on an exam but you can always look at the size here so it's not that big of a deal you don't have to do it you'll see that here you um, size C this is 1 by 3 matrix or or, or cell array of that's of size 1 by 3 so it's not that um oh wait wait right here sorry I was wrong okay yeah not not this one it's this one right here it's C so you see it's a 1 by 3 cell um, so it's always there you don't need to, it's just in case if you wanna find it out or print if you're told to print it out somehow you can just do that um, okay so connecting two or more strings horizontally um, the there's one uh, for the format you can connect n number of strings horizontally by writing um, them inside brackets and separating them with uh, with commas so you have variable name here so say you have D is equal to in brackets you put the first string the second string and however many strings you have and then the last string so here for example we want to put chocolate cake we want we want it to print chocolate chocolate let me let me sure I spell this right cake um, so if we wanted to print something like this what we do is we will write this and it will print chocolate cake it will connect it will say okay take the first string and then add second string right after it um, notice I put a space right here so that it will actually print chocolate cake instead of um, it will leave a space in between chocolate and cake so if I um, press D it will give me chocolate cake so it takes two strings or however many strings you have and mix into one um, string and right here you see that this is a string D is one string that contains chocolate cake so it takes uh, n number of strings and mix into one string so what happens if you try to do if you try to use this same method and say you want to print um, um, chocolate chocolate cake you want want to print it like this um, and why can't you just do why can't you just do um, or can you just do I guess I already answered the question can you just do this and the and the answer is no because it'll print um, every character out like this so it won't give you chocolate cake the way you want it to give you you want it to write it like this chocolate um, cake so you can't just do a comma B prime or a um, um, 
or or anything that will just make it or, or use brackets around it like this it will not work you have to use a special function special built-in function called char function um, so the char function will help let you print it the way you want it will take the first string and then it will say go to the next line and print the second string so the the basic format for that is variable name on the left is assigned char um, it's a function so inside um, inside we write you write the first string the second string and then all the strings you have in between and in the last string um, so here for example we have ease assigned char a comma b um, so if I run this again and then it's, if I type in e you see that we get chocolate cake the way we wanted to uh, the way we wanted to write chocolate cake in the first place so um, what it does is it says okay MATLAB um, print the first string and then go to the next line and then print the second string go to the next line if you have more strings here you, you keep telling you to go to the next line after printing every string so it prints the first string chocolate then it says okay I'm gonna go to the next line and then I'm gonna print cake and then I'm gonna go to the next line and print if uh, another string if I have another string so I'm, I'm just going to add um, nums to this and then You'll, you'll see what happens um, okay so now you see that it says it printed nums right after in the next line from cake so it says print the first string go to the next line print the second string go to the next line print the third string and they will keep doing that if you keep adding strings inside this char function right here um, so it will accept strings um, char the char function will accept strings or chars um, so you can put any other, you can put strings directly in here, um, say link, and it will print link in the line after. So that's how you use some of these functions. And um, that's about it for this video. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, thank you for watching.